the past few weeks, our Hall of Fame judges have imbibed in the Ghana Cooks contestants exceptional culinary skills and the training continues today. The contestants are at the forecourt of Kuala, the best shopping centre for food and more, where they'll contend with one another in a challenge set to test their ability to pay particular attention to the minutest detail in food preparation. You're watching Ghana Cooks, brought to you by Onga, Mama's Helping Hand, Ilele. So, the reactions are... Mmm, ah, mm? Yes, yes, people are really loving it. So, what do you think? It's the same reaction everywhere. It's official. The food revolution is here. Cooks and households everywhere are scrambling for onga shrimp cubes. Are you there? Onga, Mama's helping hand. I'm taking some uh, very nice golden grouper this morning because I want to cook with some golden grouper. Now that we are the final six, it's time to step it up a little bit. So I'm going to do my dish today and they're going to have to copy my dish. So I've got my tomatoes. I'll take some paprosciutto. I'm going to cook a Ghanaian continental fusion. I've just come to the fishmonger to get some fresh golden grouper, which is a beautiful fish. And I've taken 10 pieces of this, so it's staying nice and ice in the meantime. And I'm gonna make a kontungri, my style, without the palm oil for, for health reasons. I'm taking some fresh cranberries. I need some fresh lemons. I've got some parsley for garnish. I think that's about it. And the one who copies my dish and tastes exactly, We'll get the better marks. All right, that's it, we're done. Now that they keep cutting down people and we keep going to different locations, it's just expected that the challenge gets tougher and things get a bit more tight. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. Today I'm going to cook you a speciality dish of Ghanaian and continental fusion. You will watch what I'm doing, you will copy it. We will mark you on the taste, the presentation, the composition, and how close you get to my dish. Based on that, you will be judged, and one person will be leaving us today. Are you ready? Are you steady? Let me begin to cook. When Chef Guy was doing his cooking, I realized he was relaxed. Um, because he's a judge and a professional chef. I'm going to season it. With some onga spices. I was paying a lot of attention because uh, I'm the only non ghanaian contestant, so I had no idea what the kontumri was. I had to put uh, my 110% into concentrating on how he cooked. Now I'm going to start with my kontumri. So I'm going to wash my kontumri. Chef Gary is really a chef. He is a world professional chef. And see him cook today was really fantastic. I'll do it for about a minute. Now I need to do my tomatoes. Watching him cook, it was like, okay, so the master himself is taking a step which he wants me to follow. So I was ready, steady, and watch him so I could also follow exactly what he did. Okay, Chef Gary was very relaxed. He was very composed. He uh, did everything step by step. A little bit of red wine inside, a little bit of olive oil. I saw a professional chef on the move. Yeah, with his experience as Chef Gary cooks, he moves very freely, he moves as if he's not really doing anything, but at the end of the day, the dish comes out spectacular and it gets you more scared. Like, am I really going to be able to do the same thing? And then, or at least get it close. Chef, how many minutes did it take you to cook your fish? I sealed it for a minute on either side. And then I put it in the oven for five minutes on 180 degrees. 
What we want is the taste. It's a recipe. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so if you think you want to put a wine last minute and then the wine will not overpower everything, it's you. But what we want is we just want to get the taste, the presentation. And there you are, ladies and gentlemen, my Garnier Fusion. Does it look difficult? It's not. Good morning. So you've seen me cook one of our Ghanaian fusion dishes. Yes, chef. Very simple. Were we running around the kitchen? No. Was I flapping? No, chef. You've had the opportunity to see how it is done. And what I'm expecting from you is to give us the exact and better dish than what it did. It is not a difficult dish. It's just the creativity that goes with it. OK, yes, Jackie, I wish you all the best. Charity, all the best. I'm looking at doing the exact thing he did, to present the same thing as he did. Today our mystery judge is from Koala Shopping Center. He's in charge of the whole butchery, the cheese, the cold meats, the whole section. He is a chef himself. Let's see what he has to say to you today. I believe you guys can do something very good. So please, don't be in a hurry, don't rush. You should cook and don't overcook the food. Yes, chef. You have all this nice ingredient behind you. Everything is fresh. You have the best fish ever. So show us what can you do. Are you ready? Yes, chef. Are you steady? Yes. yes sir. Ghana, let's cook. I think everybody in this competition is a great cook. So everybody is a very big challenge. Ten minutes left. I am just expecting to be part of the finalists. You need to start with your conversation, your oh, chef. Oh, chef. By this time, you should be, your contumely should be nearly cooked. Starting to get on now. Ready? Yes, How things going? It's going well. Did you start the plantain? Yes, I'll do the plantain. Yes, I believe that the plantain can take time more than other things yes. to do. Yes. So, why not you start with this? Five minutes to go. Guys, when you taste your contumery, you should have a, your spoons with water. Rinse it off before you put it back in your mouth, guys. I'm going to mark you down. I was so nervous when the plantain got burnt because uh, one side was too dark, so I couldn't present that, and I had to start all, all over again. Plantain takes one, one minute to one and a half minutes to cook, and I only had two minutes left, so it was very nerve-wracking. Pandan charity and use your hand to guide it. It's, it's, you're not doing it alone, you're not in the salon, please. The final 10 seconds, I knew that I could, I had enough time to finish plating it, so I could make it in time. Beautiful. Okay. Eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking. From where you started, to where you are now, I'm going to give you a standing ovation for presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. You listen, you learn, you produce. Jackie, bring your food up, please. It looked like Chef Gary's dish. Um, but when they were tasting it, they said I didn't put enough uh, papa chito. This puts you a little bit out of your comfort zone today, didn't it? Yes, Chef. That's good, because we are chefs. As chefs, we should be able to cook any cuisine in the world. And they complained that my plantain wasn't uh, long enough. Remember, the longer you slice the plantain, it gives you the bridge to lay your fish down. I taste the red wine. Your contumbri doesn't have a lot of papuchito in, but I taste it. The fish is very nice, well cooked but the lemon's a little bit overpowering, and as what the chef said to you earlier, the lemon is a little bit bitter. But otherwise, very nice. Very, very nice. I'll take it. Well done. Thank you, Chef. I think um, my dish was almost close to Chef Gary's dish. He, he has spent years perfecting his dish. Uh, that's why he's, his dish is very hard to execute perfectly. When I did my presentation, it looked just like what Chef Gary presented. But when they tasted the comments I had... Your plantain was sliced like mine. Your fish is perfectly, perfectly cooked. But... Um, was like, um, I should have made 
the sauce a bit juicier. You know, the cantomri was so dry, and then you add a little bit of water to make it soft. So if you could put some wine or some oil, the taste would be better than, but it's perfect, it's nice. But my fish tasted good. The plantain was okay. So your conga say could have had a little bit more red wine and reduction. It's not properly cooked out. But otherwise, excellent. Thank you. Please come. Thank up. you very much. Please take your food. It's Onga. What does it do? It's the key to delicious food. Onga gives any dish such a great taste and unique flavor that every meal is a special treat. Mm. Can I help? Hmm. Always when the food is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Onga, Mama's helping hand. And now, introducing the 50 gram sachet, which gives you more. I like copying, but <laughs> I hope that under the pressure, I, I will be able to do exactly as he has asked us to do. This dish was great. It was of a five-star standard, and I'm also to imitate. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Chef. Today, we're not pushing you with time. We're not going to come up and tell you what you've done right and what you've done wrong. It's crunch time. So you need to do what you need to do. You've got 35 minutes. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I want to see you do exactly what I did. And I want it to taste like mine tasted. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you steady? Yes, sir. Ghana, let's cook. When I was cooking, I wanted to follow the exact steps he took. Every minute with what he did, I wanted to do the same, at least to get to the point where he got to. 15 minutes gone. 20 to go. You guys are looking good. I don't have all these years of experience. The years he's been cooking, I, I mean, I'm sure I wasn't born. <laughs> but I am hoping to get close to it. Right, five minutes left. Don't forget to keep an eye on your face, please. For some moments, I, I tend to forget what he, he added to the sauce and the quantities. And I think it, it really challenged me because at the end of the day, if I get something wrong and I'm not going to get my output correct. Richard, put a little bit of red wine in there and a little bit of paste and it'll be fine. And I just add a bit more of water to it? No, more than no, that. No, that. Okay, yeah, okay. Just work it in properly. Yeah, I hope it's good enough. Switch it on because it needs to cook out. The paste needs to cook out. Is there red wine in there? Yes, please. Why so much oil? Take another pan and strain some of that oil off. Nana, mm -hmm. try not to have oil. You're not doing oily dish. So try not to have oil. Okay. okay. You gotta finish this. Then I get a fire on to try your plantain. Get a fire on. Hurry up, hurry up. When it's seasoned, take it off nicely and then put your plantain on fire now. Okay. Just remember, every single time you put water in, you're taking out the seasoning. So you have to retaste it. Today's experience, I, I didn't have really a good experience. The pan on fire. Okay, It's just very little oil. Enough oil. And I wait. And I wait. Let me see before you mess up your own thing. Too much. Oil, sir. I used too much oil. I, 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 think I got everything, almost everything wrong. You see the oil, you get heart attack, huh? Mm -hmm. I start plating, Anna, guys. Don't press it, okay? Congress, it goes on top of the fish. Anna, you mm -hmm. can't use one hand here. Listen, guys, this is not hairdressing salon. I keep saying this. It's not a dryer. You plate it. So at least, Anna, look at me. If I pick this here like this. This finger guides me, and I'm going to put that thing on nicely. You don't use one hand and jump that thing like this. See how messy your plate is? Let's go. You've got 50 less seconds. Go. You've got less than a minute to go. Less than a minute. You guys really listen. Use two hands in plating. Come on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand back, please. I don't believe I'm going home today. 
I feel I'm going to be part of the bottom two because I, I, I feel today I just messed things up. You've used a little bit too much parsley. The red currants is fine. Can get a black pepper in the concasse. What happened to the wine? I put wine inside the sauce. Is that what Chef did? Because I can't get a wine, I can't get a black pepper on it as well. I don't know what is with you people in oil. Your food was so oily and the plantain was a little bit crispy from on the edge. And it was overcooked. Your fish is perfectly cooked. And your congo say, I didn't taste the red one and the black pepper coming through. But on the whole, taste is perfect for me. Well done. I was actually surprised when my, my meal came out and they said, the fish was cooked perfectly, the plantain was okay. It was, but during the process, the composition, I, I was, I, I didn't get things done well. Very nice, well done. Congratulations. You. you can take it away. I feel like I disappointed myself, I disappointed them. What is happening today? You guys saw it. Your Congo say is acidic, it hasn't been cooked out properly. Your fish is overcooked and I couldn't taste the chili in the contumery. I believe though the food wasn't good. I, I, I pushed hard to deliver and I believe at least it will help me go through to the next stage. Ghanaian infusion, basic control, use at home every day and yet we're doing a mess up. Can somebody help me with a mess up? Can anybody help me, Gary? I remember you, John, telling him five times, Richard, add more stock, add more stock. The, the food does not taste. I don't know. I don't know about it. But anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. Your presentation was much better than before. Thank you. I'm going to work extra hard and put in much effort. Listen so that I always be on point when it comes to delivery. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Chef. Chef. Right, you've seen the dish I've cooked for you guys today? Yes, yeah, Chef. You've got 35 minutes. Ready, steady, Donna, let's cook. I really want the title of Ghana Cook Season 1, the first edition. I want to have that title. I didn't think I'm going to fall because since it's a Ghanaian dish and just a fusion, I have to work hard for it. Let's go, baby. Ooh, the man is marking. I was relaxed. I work fast as I can. And as a professional will work. I can smell something good. Some, something really smelling nice. I'm expecting a very nice contumery from you guys, huh? 15 minutes have gone, yeah, you've got 20 coming. minutes yes, left. Sir. John, yeah, come, come stand back. Come sit down. Come. Okay, look, just Please. move with you. No, don't worry. Just sit down. No, I do worry. No, I'm not talking to anyone, don't worry. Because the more you help, the more I'm just going to deduct. Well, that is your side, Gary. That's what I do. No problem? Well, it is a problem because then it marks everyone down. I don't want to be fine. It's going to be a bit challenging. We would have to do the same thing and even do it better than what he has done. They're actually, they're actually way on point. I'll try and cook better than him today. I'll try. Because he, he, he has all the experience. So I'll try as much as possible to meet him today. He being one of the top world chefs, I'm a little bit scared. But by grace, I think I'm getting there. But why on earth will a cook finish his food Plate it when the fish is still in the oven. What runs through the ideas of getting it done that way? Oh my God, we spoke to this before so many times. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stand by. Thank you very much, Aram. Please bring your plates. The 35 minutes was okay. That's what we've worked with so many times. So I did what I can. Honestly, it got very frustrating because you saw everything being done. And it's a local dish with infusion. Your plantain is not fried properly. It's broiled. It's got no crust on it. The conca say you get a bit of flavor. But what the chef did was a red color. I love the flavor that I was getting. I love the flambe, but you, you got the color really on a different side. The red one was, was more, and if you could use the olive oil for the sauce, it would be better than the normal oil. I don't know what happened to you today, my boy. Your fish is over lemon. Your contumery is a little bit salty, but then it doesn't complement anything. And then the contumery, it was overcooked. 
Was it a pressure or was it that like you get so excited or complete something that you've done it before? You were best last week, so when round one today? I want to know. I think I added more red wine to my corn cassie mm -hmm. and then also um, my fish. I added more lemon juice to it, which overpowered my flavors. Okay, thank you very much, Sharon. Um, Mavis, your dish. It looks very close to mine, presentation-wise. Guys, oil is going to kill you. Oil is not good with you. I don't know why you use so much oil in your food. I was trying as much as possible to get the right thing that Chef Gary did. If you're taking oil, and it's, I mean, it's hot in Ghana, so then you are forced to take cold water, all right? It settles and become like, uh, like mayonnaise texture, like rubbery type. So the more you keep oil and uh, cold water, that's how it piles up. So that's what we keep saying, reduce oil in cooking. But it's become emulsified, and one day, you get choked. So far, the best presentation so far. But then the tomato sauce knocks you off of everything. Even the fish, the lemon was more. You add too much of the lemon. And even there's no taste of the black pepper. And then the plantain, the first one you, you fry, it was better than the second one. So you remove the good one, and you put the one which is not good. Thank you. Eviction is very painful. It is very, very painful and sad. It's like you put your heart out in the cooking and then later in the day, small mistake will get you evicted. So it is really, really sad. Today was a little taste of what it's like in our kitchen every minute of every hour of every day in the lives of a five-star hotel kitchen. We present this dish for up to 1,000 people at once. How does it feel today to experience that? I didn't think I executed the dish perfectly. The following three people, please step forward. Charity, Richard, Ayaram. The three at the back are safe for another week. In the front, I have three people. One is leaving our kitchen today. Is it gonna be? Charity? You did well. Your food was nice. Mama say you've done well. Keep it up. Hope to see you in the next edition. You may step back. Two of my strongest guys. What on earth went wrong today? Your flavor was not there. The presentation was not there. The color was not there. Huh? I don't know. The fish was overpowered with lemon. When I call your name out, unfortunately, you will be going home. You hand in your apron, say goodbye to your friends. Richard. It's Onga. What does it do? It's the key to delicious food. Onga gives any dish such a great taste and unique flavor that every meal is a special treat. Mm. Can I help? Hmm. Always when the food is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Onga, Mama's helping hand. And now, introducing the 50 gram sachet, which gives you more. Richard, you are safe by the skin of your teeth. Ayaram, you came first last week and today I don't know. We are all so upset with you today because you have it in you. Please hand in your apron. I had it in mind that um, I, I might be evicted actually because of my sauce. Cooking is my blood, it's my passion, it's my life and that is what I want to be. So my relatives out there, my friends out there, <laughs> don't be down. Now the fire is going to burn properly. Charity, you came first today, congratulations. You executed my dish with confidence, with passion, and you listened and you watched. Your conga say was correct. Your fish was perfectly cooked. It had color very, very close to mine. Well done. And now with just five contestants standing in the competition, we're inching closer to discovering the first Ghana cook. So join us same time next week as we continue this amazing journey with the contestants as they aspire to make history 
in the culinary world. You've been watching Ghana Cooks, brought to you by Onga, Mama Selfin Hand, Ilelei. See you next week. Well, I can't say I'm happy it's gone, but it's all the same, it's a competition, and we need only a winner. Eram, in my opinion, was one of the, our best competitors to get the prize. It was supposed to be my, my happiest day, but it's, it's quite unfortunate. My, hap my happiness has uh, turned out to be full of um, tears because he's like a brother to me. And uh, since he is in the industry, I learned a lot from him. I couldn't hold back my tears. I couldn't. I just tried to, to swallow everything, but it wouldn't stop. And all that I can say is he's done a good job. He should keep the good work up and surely we will all shine one day. Today has been a very sad day, honestly. I it was a eviction because now you feel like everybody is so good, but somebody has to go. And today has just been very, very emotional with Aram going and all of that. And to me, it's not easy. He's very good, but it's very sad. I feel for him. I will tell the other contestants that they shouldn't feel relaxed. They shouldn't think that is it because there's more tax ahead of them. And I wish them good luck and all the best in the next competitions to come.